PowerPoint. You can try it out. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. Just try it out and then I'll after you're satisfied, I'll start the timing. Okay. Um, you can yeah. see my screen, right? And I'm yeah, audible. I, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I can okay. see the screen, and I can, your voice is also clear. Okay. Um, Shall I start the timer then? Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. start. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. Start. You can start, um, Kana. Yeah. Yeah. My research is about the people group called uh, Panias. They are very small in uh, population. Uh, they are uh, in the part of Kerala and uh, borders of. Tamil Nadu. Okay, we'll see uh, about them. First, their origin. They are basically from um, uh, in Kerala, a place called Vayanadu and the Nilgiri district that is in Tamil Nadu. Um, th uh, they are basically uh, laborers uh, working as um, bond laborers under the landlords. Uh, in the, it was in the old days um the there are a lot of landlords because the vineyard is uh, basically a field uh, there are a lot of the fields so they um bought the panias to work on their uh, fields in that time uh, the land they are firstly they are uh, bought to work for malabar king uh, this the place is near to the vineyard uh, you can see in the map, um, but after that, because of the landlords, they are treated as uh, slaves and uh, bond laborers. So at that time they they were uh, they don't had any rights. So uh, they are treated as uh, very very bad. Uh, in that time, uh, in 1975, the Kerala government they they had uh, introduced the law that uh, they, they should stop the bond labor system. So from that time itself, they stopped the bond labor system. And uh, and now they become uh, daily, they become workers for daily wages. Uh, they go for uh, any work that is available, anything like uh, they go for a uh, house building, building and uh, go for uh, cutting trees, anything yeah, in the fields as well. So, and then we can see the language and religion. Uh, the Panya, they have their own language, but it uh, sounds like Malayalam and a little bit of Tamil. Uh, they Still, they don't have scripts. They only have a language, spoken language. And uh, we now we'll come to the religion. In religion, it comes, uh, the 99% of the Panyas are Hindus, very small very 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 small amount of people only in other religions like christianity and uh, muslims i don't uh, i don't know about the muslims but they, they are very less uh, in uh, christianity uh, yeah now uh, as as we can see that uh, now people are uh, converting to the christians slowly uh, i have a, a audio song sample uh, if you want to hear that i can uh, play yeah it, it's basically uh, like uh, sounds like malayalam so okay we'll go to the next one uh, it's uh, their appearance and uh, flock performance and musical it's basically uh, their culture about their culture uh, yeah this is our their look they basically they they are very very traditional they wear dress like um, it's uh, like they have a over a over cloth that is a dhoti and uh, they wear a dress above the chest and they tie with the ropes this is about their looks and they wear a big big uh, ear earrings and uh, they have a uh, yeah Colorful things. They uh, these things they made by themselves. They don't uh, buy from the shops and all. Not not like that. 
uh, and it comes to their culturals they have uh, their own dance called vattakali and kamlakali the vattakali is basically they uh, together they are uh, round together and play some dances clapping hands kamlakali is basically when the harvest time comes they will play in the um landlords fields uh, celebrating the harvest uh, they have uh, their music instruments one is a drum instrument and another one is a pipe instrument the drum instrument made by a jackfruit tree and uh, the sound part the skin is from the monkey's skin and uh, now nowadays they don't using the monkey skin they using the goat skin or uh, they are um bull skin uh, the musical instrument called tudi and chini the drum instrument called tudi and the pipe instrument called chini uh, you can see the uh, vattakali image this is the vattakali the you can see the uh, this is the tudi the drum instrument this is the chini the pipe instrument okay now we will move on to another thing their custom and ritual related to marriage and death and uh, we can see the modern life of panias uh, panias marriage is a, uh, they still follow the traditional style they have their vattangali in, in the marriage the marriage basically happens in evenings uh, the groom uh, have to pay a price to a, a bride in some cases bride uh, also do that uh, um, uh, or else they have to give a present to the Uh, bright so this is about their marriage ceremony um and, and still they when the marriage is happening the whole colonists were uh, together to celebrate the marriage they will attend uh, the every people from their colony colonists basically they are living uh, place they yeah they everybody will come and they will uh, celebrate the function um next we will see about their uh, death uh, they, when a person dead they used to bury bury them uh, they don't burn and uh, or something else because the others some people are there they used to bury the bodies but the panias don't do that what their belief is uh, yeah we they have the belief like like uh, yeah some other hindus they uh, they will they don't eat uh, meat or uh, any something like meat fish anything the non veg they they don't eat non veg for 7 days the when the person dead the entire family uh, basically the closed ones and uh, at the 7th day they have a Uh, singing and dancing performance at the grave but it was uh, ex but it was showing their uh, sadness about the person's death the we can see the now we can see the mo- modern day panias yeah these days uh, in tamil nadu and kerala government they, they introduced the very uh, lot of uh, laws against uh, panias and their uh, developments so for uh, six, for 1 to 8 standard we have to what uh, it's uh, we have to necessary to study so in uh, tamil nadu and kerala the uh, schools the, the teachers themselves go to the colonies and they get the uh, get the paniya childs into school and uh, they'll get, teach them so uh, like that they when they teach they'll become uh, like us i uh, means uh, they not stick into their tradition they will come out to the outer world okay now we can move on to our uh, main point it's uh, about uh, christian ministry between panias the word that is inspired me in the bible is uh, one is a great, great commission and another one is uh, revelation 5 9 and the 7 7 9 to 10 shows that there will be some of from every tribe tongues nations and people before the throne yeah god wants everybody to uh, sorry for the interruption uh, god wants everybody to uh, 
um, come before him god wants everybody to be saved uh, so we have to the panias also included with that uh, we can see the ministry progress this source is from a uh, joshua project uh, uh, i see there are uh, very less um, resources from the joshua project there are, there are not much and this this is the population this is called uh, uh, the panya population 115000 this is uh, the old one the now the current population is 195000 uh, something like that so you can uh, see as for the uh, mention in the image the largest religion in panias is hindus they are uh, 99.0.7 uh, percentage of hindus they are only 0.38% in christian their progress level is red because uh, the work is to be done not so it's just a little bit now we will come to the church uh, there were, there was a person called as reader um he is a evangelist and he is also working on for the panias he says that i, I contacted him he says that only two panya churches in the nil greece uh, there are uh, other churches is no normal uh, panya churches means they are fully panyas uh, so they 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 could come freely so that's about the church then so uh, special ministry works for the panyas and pa panya pastors yeah they have a translation unit on manandawadi that is in kerala they are doing uh, translation works for panias they translating the audios uh, when i was 8th uh, or 9th standard i meet a person i met a person who is called baskar he was uh, on the translating team he said that time there uh, there they only translated four books the four gospels matthew mark luke and john but uh, the currently in 2022 i heard that they translated everything like the old new testament they have the audio of the old new testament uh, now we will we can come to panya pastors yeah there are uh, the person called anil kumar that he is from uh, he is a warden of my orphanage the past 9 years i was studying there so he helped me with the finding the pastors panya pastors there are a lot of panya pastors uh, in gudalur that is in nilgiris tamil nadu so uh, he he say he told me the places uh, i was in um, gudalur i visited those places previously so uh, but i don't know the past about the pastors but there are a uh, few pastors and also uh, there was uh, there was my old friend his name is uh, solomon is he also panya con uh, converted as christian uh, they they were uh, saved their whole family was saved and his uh, elder brother is in uh, andaman he is uh, studying his bth in uh, andaman um so this is about the panias and their ministry works um any questions yeah yeah kanan so the question i uh, think uh, i i have still have two more minutes it's yeah. okay right yeah it's fine it's fine that's fine uh-huh. um so yeah the question is uh, now can you just share a little bit about what is the present work which is done among panias you know that's, uh, that's present something that work, is not yeah what i uh, heard is the work is very slow now because the pastor uh, basker Uh, he is the one who he is the one who was uh, handling the this uh, system the panya translating and everything mm. uh, a few years back uh, i mean 2 uh, 3 years back his uh, wife got cancer and uh, i think she has passed away so because of that he was not uh, uh, He, he he didn't work properly in the team so the work is very slow 
they were still uh, stopped in the translation that's it but uh, they have translated the bible into tamil tamil means uh, the script looks like tamil but the sound are uh, panias so the modern panias right those who know uh, tamil to read they can uh, understand the bible so that's the current uh, thing right and so uh, yeah so i just want to know, thanks gana so i just wanted to know like um, you know what is the resistance uh, from the panias you know um, towards the gospel and why you know uh, in your research were you able to find out why is it uh, like every culture i'm sure there will be you know some kind of resistance of course it's normal uh, but uh, particular to the panias is there you know is there something that you could find out that they resist the gospel predominantly um, because of this you know can you share yeah basically they don't want to come out that's the first uh, thing the other one is uh, the the people who go for panias uh, that also we don't have uh, much people to minister that's the problem uh, no uh, the, the my question is like why is it that they don't want to come out i know that's uh, out, come out of the community A- any particular reason why you know is there fear you know like in the case of an islamic community is there fear that they would be you know they would there would be loss of life or you know any particular reason like, uh, they are uh, like hindus only they don't uh, quickly come out they have their rituals and you know, they used to follow that only they not leaving that that's the problem mm. okay and uh, a lot of people are hindus right as we can see the 99% jeff people are hindus so uh, yeah so you were uh, talking very, about very difficult to convince them that's the problem mm-hmm. okay okay so now you were you were talking about pania churches like there were two churches now yeah. officially uh, they are uh, officially. fully panians Uh, okay okay now what about other churches you know there could be tamil or malayalam churches yeah. now uh, what churches. are their efforts into you know and what is yeah. what uh, I... yeah yeah uh, just two uh, things uh, like what is what, uh, one is uh, are they reaching out what are their efforts into reaching mm-hmm. out to the panya community and the sec- uh, second question is uh, mm-hmm. you know what is their effectiveness you know are they effective what is their effectiveness um, these are talking about the non panya churches right okay ah uh, yeah uh, the few days back i think four days back i called my uh, the hostel mate from the gurulur he is in the place called At- atipali i say i recently mentioned in the draft uh, so i asked him to go to the church and see what happens what he said was uh, that's a nor- normal church but there are panya pastor uh, he is assisting with the normal pastor and also few panya families are coming to the churches they don't have anything uh, they like uh, they normally comes they don't show any something fear or shy so uh, and also the another place this also from far from gudalur uh, the place called uh, padandura um, there also there was a few panyas i said previously i mentioned that my friend uh, solomon his family is also there that church is also they are both panias and normal people it's no issues with them but few people only feeling uh, uh, something like shy we can say something like that but uh, yeah this is about the thing yeah. any questions yeah um yeah that's it um, kind of so in your research methodology you know like what what uh, in what uh, what are the, what are the methods that you use to find out the research obviously yeah. you know you uh, reading from the net and all that is fine but apart from that uh, what are the efforts did you put in to find out these information yeah, about their culture and uh, all the basic things right that mentioned above from the sorry um, apart from the ministry the other things i have i have uh, got from internet but uh, the ministry things there is nothing in the internet about the panya ministry so we can uh, know that 
the paniya works are very slow uh, uh, now uh, we will come to that the i got some very very small amount of data from joshua project and others uh, from mostly from the phone calls only uh, i don't had time to go there i am very uh, yeah okay so you call them and then you found out yeah. okay i called uh, three people mm. one is he, his name is called sri there is from the translation team he okay. he uh, okay then i called person person called anil kumar he is my warden the home the children's home i, I there and uh, study uh, so he also helped me to collect data and all um, that's it. Uh, the third, I tried, third person, but i yeah. didn't go i i couldn't go That's okay no you said three persons no one is uh, sridhar yeah. one, one is, is uh, another one is uh, sam samson he's a uh, son of my uh, the warden so he he's the one who connected uh, to sridhar for uh, for me okay okay like, and uh, any, any, any anybody name, uh, Yeah. So, anybody told, from the community, from the Paniya community, any believers? Yeah, I, recent, I told right the a friend called Solomon. Uh huh. So he yeah he gave me uh, some thing about the churches, their churches. Uh, no, no. Uh, what my question was like. He's uh, from uh, are, Paniya. Paniya from a Paniya bag. Okay. Yeah, fine. Solomon. His name is Solomon. Friend. He's okay. called uh, from Paniya. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Right, Then, Kanan. Thank you. Uh, thank yeah. you. I think that is good. So I think we'll stop here. Um, so next class uh, we can have uh, we can start with uh, Prince. Uh, Prince, you can present, and then uh, Kiran, Thomas, um, they can follow. Um, so uh, who else are we? Oh, just one second. Let me just stop the recording.